Hey, Eli Hodap, welcome back to the big show. Thank you, Bradley. (laughs) Nice to have you back, my man, and I'm glad we have you back for this one. Devil's Attorney is the game we're playing today, and uh, it is nothing short of fantastic. Yeah, I really like this game a lot. It's super clever. Uh, Really enjoyed playing it so far. Yeah, it's a, it's a neat game. If you're familiar with the Ace Attorney series, you should feel kind of at home with this. Now, different mechanics and stuff, but, you know, courtroom battles, stuff like that, I, they're pretty similar in that way. Well, it's like it's like Ace Attorney, but if you removed, like, the weird hidden object evidence gathering kind of thing with, uh, like, a card battler. Yeah, and that that's that's kind of the thing. So in this game, uh, it's it's you as the lawyer uh, versus the prosecution team over there, right? And uh, your job is to uh, put a huge dent into the opposing team's credibility to the point where you actually win the case. Does that sum it up pretty well? Uh, uh, yeah, I think so. I mean, I mean like, it's imagine like a turn-based uh, kind of strategy RPG thing uh, with a with a card style mechanic, where uh, you know, like all the hit points and everything like that are all legal themed. I guess. Yeah, yeah. So right here, we got the prosecutor and his witnesses. I'm gonna cross-examine a person here and uh, and mess them up, take away some of their uh, their credibility. So boom, there we go. He's out. Yeah, see what's interesting about this is so cross-examine uses four of your action points, but it has a very high base damage where it does three to five. Right, right. As opposed to interrogate there, which does one to five, but only costs three. Right. And the thing you want to pay attention to is their damage, because that's what kind of decides uh, guilty or not guilty, right? How much damage you do. Yeah, they're damaging your credibility. Right, yeah. (laughs) <laughs> this game's kind of a uh, kind of weird, isn't it? But I like yeah, it. Yeah, it's it's uh, it's like zany. Yeah, exactly, and it's all eighty stylized. So here we go. Here's the apartment mechanic. So uh, one of the things you can do in the game is you can unlock special powers by uh, buying things for your uh, your apartment. You get money by winning cases. So in this case, I just bought uh, vanity. Uh, I just bought a vanity item, which gave me the skill epic speech. I you know I don't, I'm not sure when you when you play through the whole game if you eventually unlock everything or if the choices that you make uh, you know start to have you going in one direction or not. Yeah, yeah, I was kind of thinking that too when I was looking at it at the beginning. Kind of uh, you know, like skill trees and uh, you know like uh, RPGs. Yeah, this game needs a new game plus. That's what it needs. Oh yeah, in a big way. Yeah, There's definitely. Some pretty solid so here we go. Just second case or third case in the so game, and you you get an option of like how many or uh, kid, there, there's a couple of cases they present you every time you go in, so you get some variety too if you don't want to just go one by one by one. Yeah, this is kind of a tricky uh, game to shoot video of because like it's it's one of those games where you need to start at the beginning because uh, it's just overwhelming otherwise, but. I mean, if this seems basic to you, like, if you stick with it for, like, a half hour or so, like, it gets really complex. Yeah. And and you can lose, man. Like, this game is not afraid to, to, to really kind of stick it to you. Well, it's hard to lose in the beginning. Uh, I, at least I thought. Mm. We'll, we'll see how, how Brad, Brad Nicholson, courtroom apprentice, does here. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not so good at these video games, mainly because you have to use your brain. Now, well, what I liked about it is that it's like a math puzzle. Right. In, in, in regards to like uh, hedging your bets regarding like how your damage rolls. Uh, see, like the patronized skill, I, I never used that because like the the potential to do zero damage, I thought was too big of a uh, drawback for the one action point it cost you. Yeah, it's unfortunate. So this. Where, is I mean, it's well. it's kind of tricky how you have to like like gauge what you're gonna do with that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and there's also like buffs and things like that too. So we were doing straight up attacks for a while, but there, you know, there's also a buff like mesmerize, which you know will temporarily lower somebody's uh, damage for a round. And uh, evidence also has a very specific buff as well that takes takes away their da- buff. Probably the wrong word, but you know, a magic attack basically. See, but it's what temporary. You, what you could have done there uh, is. Uh, you could have used interrogate instead of whatever the higher one was because they only had one hit point, so the base damage would have killed them regardless. Like that's what I think is so clever about this game mm-hmm. that that it doesn't initially uh, maybe seem that way. I make really at I make really bad decisions. That's my problem. Eli, hold up. I play my own way. Brute force it. What up? You can go your own way, Brad. I'm the best. Go your own way. Look at me winning right here. All right, maybe not. 
Let's try it again. Third case this, of the this game, game, folks. really not as hard as Brad is making it look, I promise. <laughs> What are you talking about, man? This game if, is the if hardest. You, if you do more than just push buttons. <laughs> this is all right. So good. Cross examine that witness. Patronize. Yeah. Uh, uh. I'm doing it right, man. Interrogate. So good. Already. All right. We're taking him out. I got this. But see, the problem is you didn't you didn't target Margaret Jones at all, and now her her special mm. is she damages you. Mm. You were five, and then <laughs> oh god, <laughs> this is the XCOM of courtroom games. I'm announcing it here. <laughs> okay. Let's try this one more time. I got this. Okay, good. I'm going to do three damage to you then. All right. Yeah. That's, See? that's good. Look at so me that's... handling this. I know what I'm doing. Maybe. I don't know. Uh... One action point remaining. See, if it were me, yeah, I would do Mesmerize to reduce. Uh... There you go. I'm feeling good about this. Alright, so you'll take seven. No! No! <laughs> <laughs> oh boy! I, I, everyone in YouTube comments right now, he's such an idiot. Such this guy's such an idiot. You know, it's kind of hard to, to play this game when you're not really using your brain. I've kind of realized through this process. I, I think that the key to this is taking out Margaret Jones ASAP. Right. Well, or I guess taking her down, because let's see, you have a potential of uh, seven, eight, nine damage right now right. on the board without re without killing anyone. Right. So that evidence is pretty nasty, though. So what up, evidence? There you go. All right, cool. This will you'll survive around here. I got this. In the bag. Right here. Oh, you think that's cute? There we go. That's all I needed. All I needed to do was win one round. I think I got this. Probably. Uh, uh, I don't know if you have enough damage to go. Oh, Alright, nice good. Mm -hmm. Problem is, you need to... Like, you could cross-examine and get rid of Margaret. Guaranteed, but then... Yeah, that's probably a good move. Epic speech. And that's the that's the stuff I just unlocked too in my apartment. So thank mm. you, apartment. I appreciate mm -hmm. it. There we go. Winning this case, son. I'm the best at this video game. Well, oh, I guess you don't have you haven't unlocked the attack yet for uh, to do more damage to evidence, have you? No, no, I haven't. Which is oh, kind okay. of the bummer. That's, that's that's the problem you're having here. Right. Oh, see, I remember now. Hey, now. When I played the first time, I uh, oh, you're gonna die unless you can kill this. I got this. Maybe. Oh, good. Uh, when I, the first time I, I played this, the first thing I unlocked was the ability to do like two to four damage to evidence. Yeah. So that like trivialized that case for me. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> go back to the apartment here. It, it, you know, I wonder. Uh, I guess does this stuff stack or does it not? You know. Uh, so if I get center stage, will yeah. I get rid of Disco Fever? Oh, uh, I think so it's a one or the other kind of thing, isn't it? Oh, okay. All right. I I, I, I can't afford it yet, but I, I'm not sure. Interesting though, man. Like I I, I don't know. Like I I dig the system. Materialism. Oh, yeah. See, I got thickness. expert analysis as my first skill. Yeah, that's the way to go, probably. More than likely, I don't know. But that's a little taste of uh, Devil's Attorney. I don't want to reveal too much because it is so story-heavy and uh, the jokes are pretty good the first time yeah, you Yeah, it's it. really, really a clever game. I, I like it a lot. Yeah, great look, great style, great humor. I I mean, you got to get this, right? You got to. I agree. Dropping the mic.